Look, dude, from my perspective, from what I've been studying, and I study with the Masters. The Galactic Federation of Light Masters. There is only... A particle can only be a wave because a particle is a wave. It's not particle-wave duality. It's not like, oh my god, it's a particle. It's a third-dimensional thing and a fourth and fifth-dimensional thing. It's... I think wave-particle duality is just a way to hide the fourth dimension. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, and wave-particle duality... Like, I was thinking about antimatter particles and I was thinking particles. Hmm, particle, particle, particle. It sounds like a little round circle that you think of in the third dimension. You know, it's just a little particle. But it's also a wave. You know, everything is a wavelength. It's also a wave. It's not wave-particle duality. It's just waves. It's just frequency. Everything is just energy, frequency, and vibration, like Nikola Tesla said. And <clears throat> that's uh, that's it. It's not wave particle duality. It's not like it's, it's not like it's existing as a particle at the same time. I mean, it's it's looked at improperly when we think of wave du particle duality. From what I've read, um, I'm just thinking about it. It's everything is just a wave. Okay, that's it. It's not a fucking particle. It's a wave. Even the particle is a wave. The particle is a wave, not a particle. You don't need it. The particle is the form in the third dimension. That's it. That's all it is. And the wave is commonly referred to as the particle in the fourth dimension, probably because of quantum entanglement. You see quantum entanglement and you say, oh my god, it must be acting like a wave now. Look, it's acting like a wave. No, it's probably just acting like a fourth dimensional wave. Uh, fourth and fifth dimensional wavelengths need to be detected and proven that they are fourth dimensional and that they are fifth dimensional. So I will get to doing some experiments on these. Um, I don't want my experiments compromised by some specific groups of people. So I'm going to try to do some experiments with just pen and paper, um, you know, physics, um, with the limited amount of physics that knowledge that I have, which isn't very limited. I, I, if I don't say so myself, I've got some of the best teachers in the galaxy right now. Um, <clears throat> shout out, uh, shout out to my great teachers. <clears throat> um, for real though, uh, wave particle duality is, uh, it's basically how a particle and a wave can be the same thing, but it's not what we think it is, it's, I, w I have a great explanation in my head that once again I can't put into human words, it's, it's hard to explain, um, because I can see these diagrams in my head that, uh, it's hard to put into words, uh, and, and they send me diagrams, the Galactic Federation of Light sends me physics diagrams, so, uh, don't doubt my teachers, don't doubt my teachings, I don't doubt my teachings, doubt is, uh, it's a radio malfunction, I'll tell you that first and foremost, because question everything but know thyself. Um, it's good to doubt things that, uh, well, it's not, it's never good to doubt, because if you're doubting, well, you're using your head. You're like, is this right? I'm thinking about this. Is, am I thinking correctly about this? But really what you're supposed to be doing, you're supposed to be feeling about it. So if you doubt something, just turn your heart on, and you can always tell the truth with your heart, because it's love, and your heart is love, and uh, love is a lie detector. Um, love is a signal. Love is a... Baby, don't hurt me. No more. Anyway, um... <clears throat> Peep that Dr. Strange shirt. So yeah, wave-particle duality. How can it be a particle and a wave at the same time? Well, it's all just frequency and vibration, so it's all just wavelengths, man. It's all just wavelengths. That's it. And you can say, well, look, it makes a circle in the third dimension. It makes a sphere. That means it's a particle. No, that just means you located a sphere. Do, do, I, do I fucking go at this TV and say, this TV is fucking rectangle wave entanglement? Do, or do I say, do I call this TV TV wave entanglement? No, so you can't call it particle duality particle wave duality. I don't think it's particle wave because I don't name the shape. I just because it looks like a particle. You don't say, hey, it's a particle and a wave. I think they were hiding that in science because it's easy to call a particle a particle. But if you understand what I mean by the TV example, you could say, 
like, this object, this TV, is the um, particle. But this TV is made of wavelengths. This TV is made of wavelengths. This TV is energy, frequency, and vibration. This TV is just a, fr a vibration in the third dimension. It's a radio wave, if you will. It's a third dimensional, giant third dimensional, or maybe it's a giant fourth or fifth dimensional hologram. Um, anyway, wave particle duality. I really hope you understand what I mean by, oh, look at this. This is a, recti a rectangle waveform. I'm making fun of uh, some kind of physics thing that I'm that I'm going through. And once again, these are just uh, vlogs, notes from my physics classes that I learn in my mystery schools. Um, this, so this is, uh, once again, don't quote me because these are new theories as well. And um, all new age uh, information must be questioned and must be um, answered. And <clears throat> uh, new age is just a tricky word for... Um, uh, for ancient, for ancient scientists, uh, ancient science, pardon me. Sorry, I'm receiving telepathy right now from uh, the mystery school people. Uh, I can receive telepathy, but I cannot um, send telepathy. Uh, so it's, I shouldn't put on camera what my spiritual abilities are or my spiritual standpoint, but I'll let you know that because that's, you know, th there's nothing wrong with that. But there, um. You should be able to, like, tell people your spiritual abilities, but there's some spiritual stuff that you should keep to yourself, which is why I called it a mystery school, uh, which is why that's why all I'll say is, that, yes, I work with masters, and yes, I work with mystery schools in the, well, it doesn't matter where I work with them. Uh, other dimensions, we'll just call it that, and uh, as you can tell, I'm learning about other dimensions in other dimensions, and uh, I love my new Seed of Life poster, it's the Flower of Life, god dang it. I keep calling it the Seed of Life, but it's the Flower of Life. Did you know that looking at uh, sacred geometry um, actually awakens you? It's the symbol. It's kind of like the dollar bill. You know how there's that symbol on the back of the dollar bill? Uh, sim if, if looking at the Seed of Life can awaken you, I wonder what looking at that little pyramid on the back of the dollar bill can do to you. I wonder, because if looking at the seed of life, or the flower of life, looking at sacred geometry awakens a person. Just looking at the symbol, uh, it's like it holds a light code. So, because that's how symbols work. Symbols are charged. Symbols, they're charged with energy. Okay, now I'm just on another topic. I was talking about wave-particle duality. But um, anyway, and then I was like, fuck the government, and I was like, fuck the dollar bill, and I was, fuck money, money is the root of all limits. The root of all limits, not the root of all evil. Limits are the root of all evil. Fear. Fear is the root of all evil. It's quite simple. And yes, I'm a philosopher and a physicist at the same time. <laughs> now I'm just getting on philosophy. <laughs> Limits are the root of all evil. Fear is the root of all evil. Fear is the root of all evil because the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Oh, I see where that quote came from. Um, anyway, wave-particle duality. I'm going to go do some physics now. This is just a random vlog. Um, what should I title this? Random physics vlog? No, that's stupid. Um, <laughs> that's stupid. Uh, cause it's, it's just random. Who wants to watch a random physics lecture? Um, well, with me, of course you do. Duh, I'm the best. You could just literally click random physics video on me, and you could just literally get a whole fucking random download of information. Like, who wouldn't want to watch that? <laughs> I would. I'd watch my own videos. I'd watch me. I'd watch me. Just, I'd watch, I'd watch my own science. If I don't say so myself, so you should hit subscribe. I don't know, is that advertising? I was never much of a marketer. I mean, I could be. I, I'll use the law of attraction for that, whatever. <sighs> anyway, wave-particle duality. Um, I've been thinking, is that why they call it wave and particle? Simply because they see a particle behaving like a wave. Uh, when and where exactly do they see particles behaving like waves? Uh, is it really just quantum entanglement? Or is it... Um, Quantum tunneling? Is quantum tunneling fifth dimensional? I, I don't know. I just know quantum entang entanglement is not third. Is not a third dimensional property. Quantum entanglement is not third dimensional. And this leads me to think about fourth and fifth dimensional wavelengths. And to think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Just like my father before me. Which is a Star Wars quote about Nikola Tesla. So, yeah. Um... I'm going to go find out why they really, really, really believe that part of, believe in wave particle duality or why they, why they really, um, call it that because these are just random thoughts going through my head that I just pulled out my camera 
um, the real physics lectures will be once I have 100% answers. These, these are just notes that I'm making. So, um, um, I guess this one's not official. So these are just random theories that I have in my head. These are just, I just pulled out my fucking camera and I'm just like, Hey, what's up? So, um, random physics notes I made. What can I title this video? Um, yes. Random physics notes I made. Um, wave particle duality theories. Is it a theory or a hypothesis that I have? Well, I hypothesize that, uh, I hypothesize that quantum entanglement is just fourth or higher dimensional wavelengths. I believe it's fourth dimensional wavelengths, uh, showing up on our detectors, uh, and just like Carl Sagan proved the fourth dimension exists with his little, um, flat world theories, uh, flat world, d uh, diagrams and examples, uh, and I've given a few examples of Carl Sagan's physics on my YouTube page. I hypothesize that quantum entanglement is a property of higher dimensions bleeding through or higher dimensional wavelengths, uh, fourth dimension. I, I guess, I guess quantum entanglement is fourth dimensional and... They're just cloaking that as a uh, wave particle duality. Well, no, that's not wave. You know what? I gotta go because these are just my, um, I'm trying to make a hypothesis. Hold on. Is this going through here or is this coming through here? I don't know. I don't know, bro, but I'm about to go do some wave par particle duality math. Uh, so yeah, these are just notes, wave particle duality theory. Yeah, whatever. I'll just put that as my title.